Hebar has been a prominent intellectual figure in the regional and global artistic sensibility, be it Karnataka, be it across India or across the world. My close engagement with Hebar's legacy was during my role as the curator of the KK Hebar Gallery and Art Center at Manipal University. The gallery houses a growing collection of works in the region native to Hebar. Hebar is an inspirational uh, institutional figure in more ways than one. He was a sensitive artist uh, who responded to his times and evolved his own unique abstractionist aesthetic that often focused on capturing experiences onto the canvas. Apart from his artistic legacy, Hebar is significant as an institutional figure, one who encouraged uh, several young artists through scholarships and institutional encouragement to evolve their own practice, many of whom today have become renowned worldwide as uh, contemporary artists. What we can learn from Hebar's legacy uh, and his art is something that is deeply, uh, although he was their contemporary, he however uh, chose to be distinct, uh, having his own oeuvre and his own uh, style. His line drawings, moreover, are very famous. They are called the singing lines, uh, a term that was coined by the writer Mulkraj Anand. And these display a highly perceptive, highly intense relationship with his experiences that find their form in this sort of rhythmic, free-flowing lines that he creates. Most famously known for his portrayal of uh, Shivram Karan, 
with whom he was uh, good friends with. So his his famous line drawing of Shivram Karant in his Yakshagana Vesha is very well known and has been also used in publications on Karant. And what these also tell us is the deep relationship and kinship across divisions, across uh, creative practices between artists, poets, writers, folk musicians, folk, uh, folk dancers, as well as the painter that was Hebar himself. There is an earnest search for something that is beyond the unknown uh, through his everyday figures and landscapes and his painting works. In his portraits, you will see that Hebar is concerned more with his subjects and their inner world that is rather more focused on uh, capturing the subject's state of mind instead of focusing more on form and style. And while portraits were not at the center of his large artistic tradition, the speciality of the KK Hebar Gallery and Art Center at Manipal University is that it houses the largest collection of Hebar's portraits all housed in one place together, including a self-portrait of his bust. So I would say that generally uh, Hebar hailing from Kattingeri, which is very close to Udupi, which is very close to Manipal where this gallery is located, uh, it was a, a very innovative as well as an, uh, a thoughtful gesture. KK Bar Artist Trusts uh, to donate these paintings so that the university houses them in this gallery. Hebar's contribution to art history in India uh, could be seen as something of a uh, you know, a larger humanist gesture, something which historian Suresh Jairam calls as the humanist vision, uh, as his legacy. So his legacy is that of an embedded art practice, I would say, one which is connected with life and its people and the way in which the artist witnessed the world around him.